Hey there, Louis Yacobalas here. Thanks for stopping by. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can send an email into a channel of a team in Microsoft Teams. Now, before we get started, if you find my content useful, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Luigi Yacobalas to stay on top of any other content that I'm publishing. Now let's go ahead and let's get started. All right. Now, before we actually dive into the tutorial, you may be asking yourself, why would I want to email into a channel? Okay, if I have all of my colleagues in Microsoft Teams and I'm corresponding in Microsoft Teams, well, what's the purpose of emailing into a channel? And it's a legitimate question. Um, in my experience, there are some use cases where you might want to email into a channel. One of those is where you are sending correspondence perhaps to users that are external to your organization and you want to keep a record of that correspondence in Microsoft Teams. Now you could perhaps take that sent email, PDF it and upload it to Teams uh, or you could just actually email into the channel of a team. Uh, now, the second reason that you might want to email into the channel of a team is for the purposes of easily uploading documents into uh, the files tab of your team. Now, it's pretty easy to just take files and drag them into Teams from Outlook, for example. Uh, so just sending an email is just another way to do that, okay? Now, before we actually dive into this again, it is important to know that this feature has to be enabled uh, in your Microsoft 365 tenant or environment by your Microsoft 365 administrators. So as we go through the tutorial, if you're finding that you don't have the same option to generate an email address for a channel, you definitely wanna to talk to your Microsoft 365 admins and find out if this feature has been enabled. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you how to enable this feature. Okay, this is just again to provide you with some more visibility into how this function actually operates. So what you're seeing here on the screen is the Microsoft Teams Administrative Center. Okay, this is where your admins can come to configure different settings. You'll see here that there is an option for org wide settings. And if I click on this, I can click on Teams settings. And if I scroll down, you can see here the email integration option and you can read the description. It says email integration lets people send emails to a team's channel and have the content of the email displayed in the conversation for all team members to view. So this setting needs to be turned on. And additionally, your admins can actually restrict uh, which domains are able to email into your team. So it's not uncommon that your organization may be permitted to email into channels, but external organizations won't for security purposes. All right, so let's go ahead and let's test this out. Now, the first thing I'm going to show you is the files tab of the general channel of my finance team. This is the channel that I'm going to send an email to. Now, why am I showing you the files tab? Well, this is where the actual email uh, record and any attachments will be stored. Okay, so you'll notice right now that I only have two folders, one that's titled expenses and the other that's titled income statements. What you're going to see happen is once I send an email into this channel, Microsoft Teams is going to create a folder called emails and that is where these emails are actually going to uh, be stored. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and let's generate an email for this channel by right clicking on it. And you are going to see that there's this option here that says get email address. Okay, so you can see here that there's this long email address that has been generated and you can see here the uh, general and finance team name as well. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click copy. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my Outlook and I already have an email here that has a, uh, an attachment and I'm going to paste this email address into the to field and I'm just going to add some text. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and click send. And now I'm going to go back into my team and I'm gonna click on the post tab. And you can see here that the email appears in the post tab as a channel post. Okay, so you can see here, this is the exact email that I just typed and you can also see the actual attachment here as well. Okay, so you can see the PowerPoint document and I can actually click on this and view it right in the Microsoft Teams desktop application, which is pretty handy. 
And the other thing that you'll notice is I can easily open the email attachment itself by clicking on view original email, okay? And this is actually going to download that as well uh, for the purposes of opening. Now I'm gonna quickly flip into my files tab here, okay? And you can see here that this new folder email messages just appeared and I can click into this. And again, you can see the actual attachment is stored in this folder as well as the email. It's a pretty handy feature that makes transferring files and adding correspondence in Microsoft Teams pretty seamless. All right, now the next thing that I'm going to talk about is how replies to emails are handled. So in this case, I emailed this document right into the channel of this particular team. Now, had I sent an email to another person in my organization and CC'd or BCC'd this channel on that email and that person replied, the way that Teams would handle that scenario is that the reply would actually get threaded in the original channel post. Okay, now from my experience, this is a bit problematic because it's also going to carry over the original content of the email so it can clutter up your post tab. Okay, so that is something that you definitely want to consider if you're going to be making use of this feature. Now the next tip that I'll show you is you can also do this with private channels. So you can see here my manager channel has a little lock icon. That means that this is a private channel. And if I right click on this channel, I can still generate an email address and email into that channel as well. Okay. So those are just a few quick hits in terms of some constraints or limitations uh, and considerations around how to use this effectively. Now, the last thing that I'm going to talk about are some known limitations with this feature. And for this, I'm just going to pull up the Microsoft documentation to support this. Okay, now specifically, you'll notice that there is a section in this article, which I've included in the description of this video below. So check it out if you'd like to see this in detail. Uh, there are some cases where this function may fail. All right, now first and foremost, you'll notice here, we already spoke about this, but if this feature is not enabled by your Microsoft 365 admin, then obviously you won't be able to use it. The second time that this feature may fail is if the channel settings are restricted. So uh, you do have the ability to turn on moderation settings, which means that only owners can create channel posts. If that is turned on in a channel, then again, this function isn't going to work unless of course you are the owner um, of that team. Uh, you'll also see here that there's some restrictions around what your emails can contain. So if an email contains more than 50 inline images, then that message will not be delivered to the channel. Uh, if an email has more than 20 file attachments, same thing, it will not get delivered. And if the email's cumulative attachments are more than uh, 10 megabytes, then again, that email will not be received in that channel, okay? Um, so that's it. This was just a short tutorial showing you how you can actually email into a channel in a team in Microsoft Teams. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please like it. Please drop a comment below. And most importantly, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest Microsoft Teams tutorials. I'm Louis Yacobelis. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to you soon.